Hi guys, please like, share and subscribe for more actual science tutorials and updates and information relating to the profession and contact this number if you want full lectures for any CM, CS or CB subjects. Thank you. Okay, so it's been brought to my notice that people are struggling with this particular question. So let me just look at it and see. I, I actually found this to be very, very straightforward. Uh, so let me see where you're struggling. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, with the questions like joint life questions, what you and reversionary annuity sort of questions, what you really need to do is you need to visualize the sort of payments that are happening and uh, break them down in terms of the annuities which are familiar to you something which you already know okay so here the question says a special joint life last survivor annuity of 10,000 pounds per annum is payable continuously in respect of a male and a female life each age 60 exact payments commence on the first death so they are starting on the first death and they continue for five years after the second death okay uh, calculate the expected present value of this annuity okay and this is the basis so I think this is straightforward stuff uh, let me just show you the payment structure how will it work okay so you have two lives okay they are aged uh, 60 exact okay so both of them are aged 60 and 60 now uh, let's just say at some point of time you will have the first death occurring any one of them can die because we don't care about the order of death here they have not said male dies first, female dies second, whatever. They are saying the first death and the second death. That is all your payments are dependent upon, right? So you have payments happening between the first and the second death and then until five years after the second death, okay? So, yeah. So here you have payments for five years. Now, you can actually break this into two parts. The part one of this is a simple reversionary annuity payable from the first death uh, to the second death. Okay, but uh, then again, you don't have conditioning on uh, who dies first and who dies second. So basically, this is your payments between the first death and the second death. Okay, so how do you model this part? And then you have payments which are happening for exactly five years. Mind you, this five years is a fixed time. Uh, and this five years occurs after the second death happens. Okay, so this is part A of the contract and this is part B of the contract. Okay, so first of all, let's just deal with part A. So part A models the payments between the first death and the second death. Now, how can you view this? For part A, you can actually, if you have between first death to second death, okay, let me call this one and let me call this two. So you want all the payments here, right? So what you can do is you can instead take the payments from here to here and you can subtract them out of the payments happening from, let me use a third colored pen, here all the way up till here. Okay, so I am saying you take all the yellow, you take the whole yellow range and from that you remove the red range. So only the green range remains right so you have to take the payments up till the second death and from that you have to remove the payments till the first death okay so you will get the payments between the first death and the second death okay pretty straightforward now how to model that what are uh, the payments till the second death payments till the second death is a last survivor annuity right so 60 60 right and uh, yeah this is your last survivor annuity it's continuous I, I don't think I have any selection. I cannot. This is PMN into C20. Okay. So this is your whole uh, yellow range. Let me write this in yellow only. Okay. So that will actually uh, make things uh, visualizable for you. Uh, sorry. Okay. So this is A bar uh, 60. 60. Male. Female. Okay. Perfect. Now. What's next? From this, what do you want to remove, right? And and sorry, bar was over this. This is the last survivor annuity, right? From this, you want to remove the red range, which is what? It's just payments till the first death. Payments till the first death. What is that? It's a joint life annuity. Payments till the first death. So 60, 60. You have M and you have F. Okay. So this is your part A. Now, what about part B of the contract? Okay, 
part B of the contract is just payments for five years after the second death. Now think about it. These payments start as soon as the second death happens, right? And then they continue exactly for five years. Nothing can stop these payments once they start. They are certain. This, this, these payments are certain. They cannot be stopped by happening or non-happening of any events. They are triggered by the second death, but they cannot stop after that. So what do I take this as? You can take an annuity certain and you can multiply it with the assurance function. Uh, so you actually, let, let me just break this down for you. Let's say you had a payment of one pound. You had a payment of one pound uh, when the second death occurred. Just a payment of one pound when the second death occurred, right? So what would that be valued as? Well, that is the assurance function for 60, 60. You put a bar M and F. This is your payment of one pound payable on uh, second death exactly here. But do you have a payment of one pound payable on the second death? No. You have a payment for five years after the second death. Okay. So what can this be valued as? This can be valued if I discount all of these payments. Uh, this looks a bit bad. Uh, let me just erase it. Okay. So if I want to value all of these payments from the second death uh, and these five years, I want to bring them all to the second death. They are certain payments. So how can they be mo modeled? They can be modeled as A bar. Okay. Uh, but a certain annuity for five years. So five. So now this is your whole payment structure. If you add A and B, you will get, you will get your answer. Okay. Now I think typing wise, I think you can manage this question is not difficult to manage. Just stick to the notation sheet and you can manage it. And uh, the amount, well, it's uh, 10,000 will be multiplied with everything. Okay. So that is how it works. Great. So this is what I have. Okay. I hope that clears it. This will obviously be a bar. Okay. So now let, let me try and uh, type this. How, how will I type this? So I have, uh, let us go to word. Okay. So I want to find the EPV, which is equal to a bar. I mean, uh, let's start with the amount. So you have 10,000, 10,000. You have 10,000 times a bar 60, 60, and you have a bar over the whole thing, right? Uh, so, I mean, I will just write, let's assume that the first life is male and the second life is female. Let's assume that the first life is male and the second life is female. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, a bar, then you have 60 60 right? And you have a bar over the whole thing. So let me just write 60, 60 bar. Okay. Yeah. So it might look weird as a notation, but that is what we have. Or you can also write like last survivor annuity. Uh, you can write the whole thing, what it represents. But I think this is also an okay notation for this. Right. Or uh, you, you don't even need this hyphen hyphen okay so this is what you have right now uh, this was the first term let me look at further subsequent terms so you have so you have uh, this a bar 60 60 okay so minus a bar uh, so this time you just have 60 60 Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is correct. Right. 10,000 is multiplied with the whole thing plus a 60, 60, 60, 60 
bar okay times a bar 5 a bar 5 okay so this is what you have right uh, this was my whole thing right so now once once you have this this is your epv now you just need to solve so i mean what i'll keep on doing is i'll just copy this okay and i'll expand this so this can be written as single plus single minus joint right so this can be calculated and you will have this term as well so what i'll do is i'll expand this this will become a bar 60 for the male okay so let me write to the power of male okay then you have plus a bar uh 60 to the power of female okay minus 2 times this because you already had one term and you are getting one term extra and then you have this whole term okay now you can just put in values okay so how will you put in the values right so now i can just directly put in the values from the table so you have 10000 times a bar 60 for males let me see what this value will be from the tables right so uh you have for the male so uh 60 so it's 15.632 right uh, which is the which is the continuous value so you need to convert it into uh, i mean the you need to convert it into the continuous value this is the due value okay plus you need the same thing for female so you have this uh, at age 60 this is your value 16.652 so you just paste this but you need to add 0.5 to it okay so plus 0.5 okay minus 2 times what do you have a bar 60 60 okay so yeah so you need to do that as well so you have this so a bar 60 60 will be 60 and you have a zero right same age so i mean let me rotate this so you have again 60 you have zero 14.090 so 14.090 so plus 0.5 okay so these are the values that you have okay plus you have this number okay now this is a number which is an assurance function right so you need to find it from the annuity function by applying the premium conversion formula so how will you do that you will just take uh so how i do it is so you have to take a bar 60 60 bar right uh so you have to apply the premium conversion formula that would be 1 minus delta uh, that is the force of interest or i can just write it as directly log of 1.04 right uh times uh what do i have to use for this uh i will have to use also that there's some small error here these will be minus 0.5 okay not plus these will be minus 0.5 because we are going from uh, due to continuous right so you have one uh, minus a log of 1.04 times single plus single minus joint so i will do single plus single minus joint and you have to use the continuous annuity factors right so it would just be single plus single sorry single minus joint right so joint is this okay so this is what you have and this will give you your 
a bar 60 60 okay because you are just using uh, the premium conversion formula using delta and you are uh, taking the value of a a small a bar uh, 60 60 here okay so this this should be clear and now i just have one factor which is this a bar 5 so how can i do that that is just 1 minus 1.04 okay to the power of minus 5 divided by a log of 1.04 okay yeah that's it so let me check the brackets if they are fine this one looks fine this one looks fine this one i started with a bracket and uh, well there should have been a bracket here this is all correct yeah 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 so this had a bracket around it okay and then you had this whole factor which had a bracket around it yeah you just need one more bracket so this is fine so this will give you the answer right directly so let me just paste this into excel to find the answer but there is some problem this this is not a minus sign this has been converted into a dash by excel by word so you need to just see that you have no dashes here okay now all the signs are minus sign so it's just recommended not to use spaces between your uh, algebra if you use spaces then it just gets converted into grammar so that's problematic okay so now i'll just see what the value turns out to be so i'll press equal to enter accept the correction oh so there seems to be some problem because this is not even close to the correct answer so you have this then you have 1 minus log of 1.04 and uh, So you need a bracket here right and yeah this is multiplied with this this is divided by this this seems okay now yeah so you get your answer as 54934 uh, I think this is the correct answer so yeah that's how you do this sort of question okay so pretty straightforward okay so this is a small reference in case you didn't understand the premium conversion formula that I applied. Uh, so it's very uh, uh, straightforward. Actually, you I used a bar uh, 60 60. This is to be equal to what this can be calculated using the premium conversion formula as 1 minus delta times a bar uh, 60 60. Right. This is your standard premium conversion formula. And then I calculated this thing as single plus single minus joint. Okay. So this is something I did. Okay. Uh, so just note this down. Okay. 